All right, hey guys, so today we're going to be showing you um, how to prepare your Estes rocket for, now this applies for any rocket, for um, for a flight. So, um, it's very important that you do this. This will ensure that your model, your your parachute deploys properly, your parachute will get melted, and it'll make sure that your rocket motor is uh, insecurely, and it won't come out during flight. So, um, yeah, so let's get started. All right, so the, the things you're going to need is you can buy, the, you're going to need some rocket motors, a pack of rocket motors. They usually come in a pack of three. Uh, they'll come with fuses and plugs, so very get, very good to get these. You can usually pick these up at your local hobby shop. And you're also going to get yourself some recovery wadding from Estes. Uh, these things are sold separately. If you buy like a ready-to-fly kit, these things are sold separately. So, um, alright, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you want to do with your rocket is pull the, um, pull the nose cone off, and you can pull all the lines out, and then just pull your parachute out. So you'll find, grab the, the uh, white lines, My parachute's stuck. There. Alright, so, <laughs> sorry about that. So, once you have the parachute out, it sh should just slide out, but I did kind of a sketchy job of putting this in. So, uh, once you have that out, uh, stretch all your lines out and unfold your parachute. Here, I'll move these over to the side. And unfold your parachute and kind of get it into a shape like this. And then take your nose cone lines. And kind of keep all your lines organized, try not to get them tangled. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is fold it in half. Again, making sure that your lines are pretty out of the way. You want to keep them out of the way as much as possible. And then fold it in half again. And then you want to do this loosely. And then make sure your lines again are out of the way. And then fold it in half again. And fold it in half one more time. Or no, never mind. Sorry. All right. So once you have this, you should have a nice looking spike like this. So once you have this, what we're gonna do is once we have all our lines out, we're gonna take this and we're just gonna fold it once over like this. Okay. So now your parachute should look like this. Again, don't really try to keep your lines out and uh, don't really do anything really tightly. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to roll it up into kind of a, loosely roll it up into kind of a cigar shape, just like this. And then that is a properly folded parachute. Now again, make sure that all your lines are out and they're organized and they're properly hooked up. Okay, so once you have your parachute folded, um, you, if you let go of it right now, it'll open. So I like to just take my line and wrap it around it for now. Do not in, do not put it in there like that. Do not insert the parachute into the, the rocket like that with the lines wrapped around it because it will not open. So do not do that. And it'll get stuck in there and probably melt. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our wadding, which mine's already open. So you're going to take your wadding and you're going to need about two to three sheets of it. So just get out like two, three sheets. It's very thin. Some people will grab too much. You don't want too much wadding because then it'll block the gases which pop the parachute out. Uh, let's put one in there. Just lightly crumple it up. Do not tightly crumple it up. Just lightly crumple it up. And then, uh, one more. And then. They don't need to be big, just little sheets. And then put it in as far as it'll go. Alright, once that's done, now we can take our rocket engines and uh, open these up. Just put your wadding back in here. And uh, now what we can do is take our rocket engines and open these up. These are a little bit powerful for this rocket. These are actually, this rocket takes B64 engines. Um, if you're new into rockets, uh, model rockets, here I'll just... But like I was saying though, if you're new into model rock, here let me grab something real quick. Sorry about that guys. But uh, if, like I said though, if you're new into model rockets, you probably want to go with a less powerful motor for starters. Uh, just because it'll, if something goes wrong and this is your first rocket build and you might have messed something up, 
you have a less chance of ruining your whole rocket with a less powerful motor. So once you order, once you open these up, you'll find your instruction manual, which I'll you don't really need this if you're watching this video. Uh, you'll get um, four fuses, which look like these, and uh, do not pull the fuses out. I'll show you what to do in a second. And um, you'll also get these little plugs. So these come in up to four. So all right, and then if you open this up, you'll find your rocket motors. Okay, so you can set your extra rocket motor onto the side. So, there's going to be two ends on your rocket motor. There's going to be the end with the flat, so with the the, gun, the rocket powder, and there's going to be this little small nozzle end. That side is going to go down, so that's going to blow the flames out. Okay, so to insert this, if, if you have a certain, certain rockets have little metal tabs that hold the motors in, but for this one, it's just, it's a lock, it's a turn and lock mechanism, so it just pops the cap off. And, uh, like I said, Right there. We're going to slide our motor in and slide it all the way down. Make sure it's all the way in. And then uh, go ahead and insert it all the way in there. And now our motor's in. So once your motor is in, now what you want to do is you can take your you can take your fuse and you're just gonna want to take your scissors and cut the strip of paper that holds your two fuses together. So cut it right in the center and grab one fuse and you're gonna you're gonna find two ends. You're gonna find the ones that look like this with the two little pot, with the little connectors and you're gonna find the one that's the, the two wires that are glued together. That's actually not glue. That's a that's something that sparks when it uh it not, when the electricity is through it. So what you wanna do is insert the fuse into this nozzle. So insert insert the fuse lightly. Don't push it in there, just insert it. And then you want to take one of your little purple clips, and uh, just a uh, purple plug, sorry, and then I fuse it in there, just push the purple plug in there, and that'll just hold it in place. Alright? So that's how to do a rocket motor. So I'm actually not going to be using this rocket motor, but that is how to install a rocket motor. Alright. So now you should have your fuse in, your motor in, all that stuff. Alright. So now what you want to do is you want to take your parachute, hold it, and unwrap it. Do not put your parachute in wrapped, because it will not open, trust me. Alright, so what you want to do, make sure you have your wadding in, is just slide the parachute right down in there. You want to just lightly put it in. Okay? So once you have your parachute in, now you can take all your lines and just kind of put them in there. Like this. They don't have to be neat. As long as they're not uh, tangled. Or catching on anything, then you should be fine. Um, and just put all your lines in there, pop your nose on, and you'll be ready to go. So my lines, I have a little bit of excess line right here. I'm just, just put these in real quick. And um, so yeah, so that's pretty much how to prepare your rocket engine for flight. Here, I'll just about got all of them. And uh, there. All right, guys. So. Now your rocket is prepared for flight and you are ready to go out and fly it. So hook it up to the launch pad. Uh, make sure that the safety key is out. Um, make sure this is the safety key. Make sure that this is out. And if you're working with little kids doing this, make sure that you hold the key. Do not let them have it until you're ready to launch it. So before you launch, also um, make sure that you check for birds or aircrafts or anything like that. Especially if you're using a really high powered motor, something that can go b above 500 feet. You really want to check for uh, anything above you. So uh, that's been it. This is how to prepare your rocket for a uh, flight. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun out there. Fly safe. Yep.